All right, congratulations, lesson six. We're gonna look at Blue Arp Timing Fun. I've got the NATO Dirty Harp from the Standard Library. I'm gonna bring down the delay a little bit. And let's play first with Blue Arp. I wanna give you a couple of tips on Blue Arp. This is a fun little arpeggiator it's included in Unify. It's got a really interesting system where it has the notes played. And if you do something like, if you go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now if I play one note, it's only playing the first, if I play two notes, it's not until I play all three notes that I get all the timing events. And I'll try to keep it in this sequence so it's doing the same thing, which is a lot of arpeggiators don't do that kind of a thing. This is nice for that. If you change, like, say, event three, let's make that five. This means it won't play one note, two notes, three doesn't do anything. <laughs> Four doesn't do anything. Only when you play the fifth note, Does it play? So it's really interesting you can do that kind of thing. Other things that are unique with this, if you go to step type and you just go to the random and say random all the way across, now it's random. It's gonna just randomize. Now, if you put chord in every now and then, if you use rest, then the note before that gets extended to the length of the rest note as well. So let's go like this and say rest, rest. So now. And if I want, I can use octaves to have certain ones jump up an octave or up two octaves. So this way you can get some kind of fun skips. So it's randomizing the note, but the random note that it picks, it transposes up two octaves or one octave or whatever you use. And then these are individual semitones. So this is great for melodies and playing one note and it's gonna, you, you raise and lower these to get the melody that you want. Not, not so interested in that for this. Let's go back to just random for everything. Okay. Now I'm gonna add another MIDI effect from Unify's toolbox. We're gonna add trigger box. And what's fun with this is trigger box has a whole bunch of different modes. If you put this before the blue ARP and you open this up and you load presets, you'll see that there's things like uh, C4 plays the modulation wheels. So you could set the modulation wheel up to play like drum grooves or play sequences that are bass lines that you made the arpeggiator pattern for. Or trigger audio files if you want. There's so many ways to do things with this. Let's do this. Let's just call up trigger box again. So it's just normal, no, no presets are set. So we go over here, uh, trigger box. And I have it after the arpeggiator instead of before the arpeggiator. And now this probability becomes a gatekeeper. So if I set this to 30%, here's 100%. As you bring this down, it's only gonna let a certain percentage of the notes through. So like if you double this, let's go over here and just say duplicate the Slayer. And instead of the harp, let's have this be a different sound like, um, not a kick. <laughs> uh, how about a horn stab? I 
and let's have the trigger be even lower on the horn stab. So you can do all sorts of fun things with this. Let's say duplicate this one more time and let's choose a different sound. Uh, let's go over here to, instead of the unified bonus, let's say to the Mega Magic. Um, these are all the, by the way, in Guru Sampler, there's all these different libraries inside of the, the sampler that you can choose from. And they're organized by different folders. Let's go to Dreams, which are really cool one-shots with reverb. And let's like choose a key sound. Maybe instead of hits, let's find something else. Big hits. Let's say we go to Mega Magic Cello. That should be fun. And let's have it decay out. And if I want to get a little bit more rhythmic, that pad, that, that's right here, right? The, let's put a pump house on it, some dynamics. Got a little bit more rhythm to it. And maybe the, the harp, let's have this be, instead of 16th notes, let's say 8th notes. Let's have it play chord every now and then. So let's save this because it's kind of fun. BPM pad, and this is Blue Monday. BPM pad, PCM, <laughs> and let's call this. This is from lesson six. Six. Save as. <laughs> 